Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. This is a live broadcast from Princeton, New Jersey. Today is Monday, March 29th, 2010. All is right again in the world. The clocks are all aligned. It's 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in the U.S. It's 4.30 p.m. in London. In Mexico City, it's 10.30 a.m. And in Hamilton and Bermuda, it's 12.30 p.m. If you need to reach us during the broadcast, you can phone in toll-free at 1-866-67-CADEX. Overseas, our AOL instant mail address is CADEX TV. Former British Prime Minister John Major is 67 years old today. In the United States uh, yesterday afternoon, uh, our afternoon naps or basketball watching was interrupted by the news that President Obama had flown Saturday night to Afghanistan. He was on the ground for six hours. He met with uh, the Afghan president, President Karzai, and he also met with American troops. He's back in Washington now, back at work. Well, we'll go to our main news today for the day. The main news is coming out of Moscow. Two female suicide bombers blew themselves up this morning in the middle of the rush hour on Moscow's subway system, killing at least 37 people and wounding well over 70 people. Uh, the first explosion took place just before 8 a.m. at the Lubyanka station in central Moscow. The Lubyanka station, of course, is beneath the uh, old insurance company building that houses the main offices of the Federal Security Service, which is the KGB successor agency. About 45 minutes later, a second suicide bomber detonated herself at the Park Kulchuri station, which is near Gorky, Gorky Park. President, there were Vi Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, who was on an official trip to Siberia, vowed in a uh, news conference that the terrorists would be destroyed. The Moscow subway system carries about 7 million passengers a day. Russian TV showed video from inside the Lubyanka station, uh, wounded and dead victims sitting and lying on the floor. The platform was filled with smoke. Um, the last confirmed terrorist attack in Moscow was in August of 2004 when another suicide bomber blew herself up outside of a city subway station, killing 10 people. In a televised meeting with the president, President Medvedev, Federal Security Service head Alexander Bortnikov said body fragments of the two bombers pointed to a caucus's connection. He did not elaborate. The New York City subway has boosted uh, security as a precaution following the incident. In China, a race is on, uh, going on today in a rainstorm to free 153 coal miners trapped underground by a flood. The flood occurred when workers digging a new mine uh, accidentally broke into a network of old water-filled shafts. Uh, so far, there has been no contact with the trapped miners. This is almost 24 hours after the flooding. The state-owned mine is about 400 miles southwest of Beijing. It had been under construction and was scheduled to start production later this year. The accident could be one of the worst mining disasters in recent years if the rescue efforts fail. And that's saying a lot in China, believe me. Uh, Lloyd's reinsurer Chaucer has confirmed combined net losses from February's Chile earthquake and windstorm Zintia of 25 million pounds. The firm added that the losses would come through the facultative and direct accounts of its syndicate 1084. Chaucer said it has actively avoided Chilean treaty reinsurance business due to what it described as unfavorable terms and conditions. Due to outwards reinsurance, the 25 million pounds reported is not sensitive to upward revisions of the industry loss estimates industry-wide. The vast majority of the loss is attributable to the Chilean disaster, with Chaucer reporting only limited exposure to European windstorm. Swiss Re has completed a 120 million U.S. issuance from its successor 10 vehicle. It's going to provide three years of cover for U.S. hurricane, European windstorm, Cal Quake, and Japanese earthquake. That in itself would probably not get it on the show, but the uh, interesting news is that the uh, instrument will be the first one to use a trigger based on the Perils European Industry Loss Index. The Perils Initiative aims to replicate the success of U.S.-based property claim service, collecting data from the European insurance and reinsurance industry to compile industry-wide loss estimates. Perils is Swiss-based. It has nine shareholders, Allianz, AXA, Generali, Groupama, Guy Carpenter, 
Munich Re, Partner Re, Zurich Financial Services, and Swiss Re. Um, U.S. consumer spending, actually, in the United States increased a seasonally adjusted three-tenths of one percent in February, this after having risen two-tenths of one percent in January. After adjusting for inflation, the government reported that after-tax incomes were unchanged in February. With spending rising faster than incomes, the personal savings rate fell to 3.1 percent of disposable income, down from 3.3 percent in January, and down again from 4.4 percent in 2009 in December. And in Bermuda, if you go to the uh, Royal Gazette website today, you'll see there was another shooting and this time a, another death over the weekend. We'll go now to a word from our sponsors and come back with the rest of the news. Every day, the world wakes up and goes to work, pursuing the unique opportunities that lead the global economy forward. The complexity and close connectivity of today's global marketplace is a true modern miracle that can create unparalleled success. But it takes confidence, passion, innovation, and understanding. Enabling opportunity. Protecting capital. Engineering innovation. Investing in your future. Ensuring continuity. Finding the right balance. It takes Aeon. The stock market in New York is up about 67 points right now. Arthur J. Gallagher is making some news. After months of talks, Arthur J. Gallagher UK has clinched its takeover of First City Insurance Group's reinsurance broking business, including its leading financial institutions and professional lines business. Gallagher put out a press release. They say that the uh, Gallagher London subsidiary has signed an agreement to acquire substantially all of the business for an undisclosed sum. Gallagher UK is buying the business of First City rather than First City itself following protracted talks over the group's legacy liabilities and in particular its pension deficit. First City places an estimated $500 million in business according to sources in incorporating a substantial uh, financial institutions and professional lines business, it'll bring in such clients as Deutsche Bank and Citigroup. That's a big win for Gallagher. There were two big earthquakes in Chile over the weekend. Well, big is uh, depending upon how you define it compared to the one in February. Up in the north on Friday afternoon was a uh, 6.0. There hasn't been any report of damages on that, but on the in the south, you can see the uh, square, the blue square in about the middle to the left. Uh, that struck near Concepcion, right where last month's massive earthquake struck. The quake uh, by Concepcion struck at 5.43 p.m. yesterday. It was a 6.0. No damage was reported, although people did rush out of their homes into the streets as a precaution. And in Charlotte, North Carolina yesterday, a handful of people were reported injured by violent storms that ripped a metal roof off of at least one building, damaged dozens of homes, and knocked down countless trees. Also cut power to customers for uh, about 12,000 of them, uh, at least throughout most of the night. National Weather Service said that uh, there were unconfirmed reports of a tornado touching down in Davidson County. So far, damage has been reported to 30 homes in High Point, and there have been uh, reports of hundreds of lightning strikes, as well as high winds, hail, and heavy rain. Tornado watches remain in effect for the areas between Charlotte and Greensboro. Well, finally, if you were in the United States uh, any time over the past three weeks on weekends, um, you can walk into any pizza place, any bar, any restaurant, and you'll find